What's up guys, my name is Tris and you are watching the Nanotank Reefer YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please do like, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're not missing out on any of my new content. In today's video, we're going to go through the process of how I cycle my reef tanks. Uh, I've done it many times in the past and I've, I've had great success doing it. So I thought I might as well share with you how I go through the process of doing it. I do use fish, I do use live bacteria to go through the cycle. And honestly, you're going to be amazed at how fast this, this tank cycles. By no means am I saying that this tank is ready for coral because this tank here needs a good three to four weeks of maturing before I'm going to put any coral in there. I'm, all I'm doing is going through the process of transforming ammonia to nitrite to nitrate. So let's see how it's done. First things first, you want to make sure all flow is turned off. I turn off the return pump, I turn off the wave maker and I make sure the skimmer is also turned off. Then I remove any media from the tank, any filter floss, carbon or any phosphate remover. Give the bottle a really good shake, make sure you give it a good 10 minute shake and then you pour it into the tank. I've actually temperature acclimated this bottle. Um, it is live bacteria at the end of the day, so I want as much bacteria to survive the transition from the bottle to the tank uh, as possible. Uh, that's why I temperature acclimate it. I turn the pump off on, then I uh, circulate the bacteria in the water and I wait 15 minutes before I add any fish to the tank. Once you've waited 15 minutes, it's time to acclimate the fish. These are temperature acclimated and they are also acclimated to the salinity of the water. Do it like you would any other normal fish uh, and then they're ready to go in. Now it's really crucial at this point that you are making sure you're keeping a good eye on these fish for the next two to three hours, making sure that they're not, they're not struggling for breath, they're not on the bottom of the, the tank, um, they're not going up to the, to the surface to try and gulp some air. I mean, you wanna really make sure that these fish are doing well. If you see any signs of distress, you wanna pull them out of the tank because there's obviously something going on. You can see that these fish look happy as, happy as ever. I mean, they're just, they've, uh, these are fish that I've had for a year anyway, uh, so they're well-established fish. Uh, they're not brand new from the shop um, but yeah this is the point where you want to really make sure that these fish uh, aren't going through any trauma in this tank um, but yeah thankfully these guys are doing all right and then finally it is time to do some tests this is four hours after i added the fish i've kept a close eye on them up until this point everything seems fine so i thought um, before i go to bed i'm going to do some tests um, and see what it shows up. And um, lo and behold, the tank had fully cycled within that period. Um, this is the ammonia test that I'm doing now. That comes through as a zero. I then follow up with a nitrite test that comes through as zero. And the nitrate test that I do at the end uh, comes through as two to five parts per million. So yeah, it, it cycled, honest to God, in, uh, in four hours, which I, um, I couldn't believe. So much so that I actually did four tests. I did four ammonia tests, four nitrite tests, and four nitrate tests uh, before I would, uh, I would believe that it's uh, fully cycled. Like I said at the start of this video, um, this is the nit nitrogen cycle that is complete. It, it doesn't mean that you can add corals to this tank. Uh, this tank is not mature. There's a small population of nitrifying bacteria within the water column. What you want to do is you want to lightly feed the fish over the next seven days, seven to 14 days, um, because you could still get an ammonia spike. I mean, if, you, if you're gonna chuck a lot of food into this tank, uh, it's all gonna break down, it's all gonna turn into ammonia, and you could still have that, uh, that ammonia spike without a good population of uh, nitrifying bacteria within the system, within the rock, within the sand, uh, you can still risk an ammonia spike. So, 
So feed lightly, keep your skimmer off for four days um, at least, uh, and then turn your skimmer on after that. You don't want to be removing any of the bacteria from the tank by skimming it out. Uh, and feed lightly. I, I must stress that you must feed lightly. Um, I feed my fish twice a day, and I, I hand feed them three or four pellets at a time. Make sure they've eaten that, and then as soon as they stop eating food, uh, I won't put any more in there. So that about wraps it up for this week's episode. If you haven't already, please do like, subscribe, and do hit the bell notification so you're not missing out on any of my new content. Next week, we'll, uh, we'll touch on the ugly stages of the tank. I'm noting some, some diatoms in the tank at the minute, uh, so we'll go through that. We'll add some cleanup crew. Uh, in the meantime, have a cracking week.